Hello everyone. Today we continue with computer system architecture course. In the last meeting, we discussed the first four sections of chapter four. Today we move to section four, five, logic micro operations. Logic micro operations specify binary operations for strings of bits stored in registers. These operations consider each bit of the register separately and treat them as binary variables. For example, this statement, exclusive or the contents of registers R1 and R2 and store the result of the operation in register R1 provided that the control signal B is true. If we have N variables, the number of logic functions equals two, two to the power two to the power N. For example, if N equals two, then the number of functions equals 16. For three variables, we can generate 256 different functions. For four variables, the number of functions equals to 65,536 different functions. Since two to the power two to the power four equals two to the power 16, which is two to the power 10 multiplied by two to the power six. This value is 64, and here we have 1,028. This is the truth table for 16 functions of two variables, x and y. The functions are named f0 through f15. And from the truth table, you can note that any if i equals the complement of f15 minus i. For example, if zero and if 15 are complement of each other, if one is complement of f14, etc. Now, if zero equals zero, and it does not depend on the values of x and y, and this is the clear macro operation. Next, if one equals two x and y, and this is the and macro operation. If two equals two x and not y. If three equals two x, transfer x. If four equals two here not x and y. Next, if five equals y, transfer y, and if six equals not x and do y, or x and do not y, which is the exclusive or operation. If seven, equals y, transfer y, if eight equals not x, and it would not y, which is x or y or not. And this is the nor operation. Next, if mine is the complement of f6, x, exclusive or y or not, which is x, y, or not x, not y, and known also as equivalence function. It is one if the two inputs are equal. Next, if 10 equals to not y, transfer complement. If 11 equals to x, or not y. And it's easy to prove using the Morgan's theorem that if four and if 11 are complement of each other, 
next f12 equals not x which is transfer complement f13 equals not x or y and really if you take the complement of f13 it is x and it would not y is the function f2 here next f14 equals x and y or not which is the NAND operation also equals to not x or not y and f15 equals one regardless of the values of the variables and this is set to all ones operation these are the 16 logic functions and therefore the macro operations that can be generated using two variables next hardware implementation this is the function table for implementing four logic operations and or XOR complement we can use a four by one max and we need two select lines to determine which of the inputs should be transferred to the output according to the function table on zero zero select this input of the max is transferred to the output which is the and operation on zero one select this input of the max is transferred to the output and here we have an or operation on one zero select we have exclusive or and on one one complement of a this is only one stage of logic circuit since the operation is performed only on the bits a i b i if the size of the register is eight bits then we need eight such stages in the same manner you can implement the circuit if you are given a different function table next we move to the most common logical operations performed on registers first the selective set operation the selective set operation sets to one the bits in register a where there are corresponding ones in register b it does not affect bit positions that have zeros in b for example if the contents of register a are one zero one zero and b zero zero one one then since we have here one this bit is set to one and here we have one so this bit also should be set to one it is already in one state and these bits are unchanged zero and here we have one you can consider this example as a truth table and you can note that the selective set operation is just an or operation a or b stored in a so the selective set is just an or operation next the selective complement operation it complements bits in a where there are corresponding ones in b and again it does not affect bit positions that have zeros in b for the same example one zero one zero 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 one one here a and here b so here we'll have one here zero here zero and here one since we have to complement each bit in a where we have one in b and you can consider this example as a truth table and from it you can note that the selective complement operation is just an exclusive or operation xor next selective clear the selective clear operation it clears to zero the bits in a only where there are corresponding ones in b again if we have one zero one zero in a and zero zero one one in b 
so we have here one so we clear this bit it's already cleared and we clear this bit as well and the remaining bits in a are unchanged and this is really is a and it would not be so the selective clear macro operation can be written as follows next the mask operation the mask operation is similar to the selective clear operation except that the bits of a are cleared only where there are corresponding zeros in b again with the same example one zero one zero 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 one one so we clear bits in a where we have zeros in b here zero and here zero the remaining bits in a are not changed and from this table it's easy to find out that the mask operation is just an and operation next the insert operation the insert operation inserts a new value into a group of bits this is done by first masking the bits and then ordering them with the required value suppose that we have an 8-bit register a with the contents 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 and we need to replace these bits by the value 1 0 0 1 we first perform the mask operation on these bits 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 and the mask is the AND operation here we'll have 0 1 0 1 and here all zeros next we perform the OR operation with the required value 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 the result is 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 1 so these bits are inserted on the required positions the clear operation compares the words in a and b and produces an all zeros result if the two numbers are equal this operation is achieved by XORing the contents of the two registers here the result of XOR is zeros since the result of the XOR operation is all zeros then the numbers a and b are equal and this is because zero exclusive or zero is zero and one exclusive or one is also zero but if the bits are different then the result of the exclusive or is one and here also we have one i will stop here today in the next meeting we'll continue with shift macro operations that's all for today thank you